hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to make this amazing responsive blockade slider design using only html and css as you can see here on my computer screen i have this one amazing background color also i have this one blockade uh, uh, design and you can see on this design we have images also we have the date and we have title and also a small paragraph also we have this amazing button that says read more also next we have this amazing slide pagination where we can slide to the next slide and you can see whenever i slide it displays different images so we'll create this using only html and css so kindly before starting this video do subscribe to our youtube channel and also share with your fellow developers so without wasting time let's start the video hello guys welcome back again so here i have created one folder called responsive block card slide slider so in this folder i have three images that i'll be using to create this block card also we have two these other files that is my index.html and also style.css so i'm going to provide all the image source on my video in my video link description so that you can also download next i'm going to open this on our text editor that is i'm using visual studio code so here is my text editor here i've written the basic html structure this is my index.html also you can notice i have this one title that says responsive blocker slider also next i have these two links that i've added that is ajax also will you can get these files these two files from my video link description also i have this one link tag this link is for css style.css this I have connected my style.css to HTML. Also, this is my style.css, but for now there is nothing. So come back to your text uh, index.html under the body. We'll create one div with a class name blog blog slider. Then we'll create another div. And then I'm going to use underscore, then I'm going to say wrap. Okay. Also, we need to add more. I'll add another class here that says swiper. Swiper wrapper. Inside this div, we'll create another div called block slide. Again, block slider. And also for this one, I'm going to again use underscore then we'll add another class called swiper slide inside this div we'll create another div again with a class name blog slider and for this one will be img inside this div we'll add our img source and for my image i'll just set one dot okay this is my first image second image and third image for all the images i'll provide in my video link description so make sure to download before starting this tutorial now come back to your index.html after this closing div we'll create another div with a class name blog slider underscore content this way all our content will go and here i'm going to create one span with a class name blog slider and this one will be code for this one we need to add a date like today is 08 february 2022 okay so after this span tag we need to add a title so for this one again i'll just create one div with a class name blog slider underscore title for this one i'll just add a dummy text okay next we need to add a text so i'll create another div with a class name blog slider again and again we'll say underscore and this one will be 
text. Here I'm going to add a dummy text. So this may be a lot, so I'm just going to cut all of this. So let's just remove up to here, okay? Next, just yes. that should be okay. So after this title, we need to add a button. So say let's say something. We'll add something like after this and uh, div tag. We'll add a button that say we we'll use anchor tag, okay? And we do not link anything. So for this button, I'll add a class that says blog slider button and here i'm going to add my text that says read more okay so after this two closing div tag we need to create another div with a class name again sorry so after this closing div tag i'm just going to do a simple so you see where we start this class not the wrapper okay this class called swiper slide so I'm just going to copy the whole of this because we need three cards, okay? So just do copy pasting and here I'm going to change my image for this one will be two. Again, here we're going to do another copy pasting. Also, we need to change our third image. So now we have created three cards. So simply So after this two closing div tag, we need to add, we need to create another div, the class name, blog slider, and for this one will be our pagination, okay? So I'll say pagination, where we can slide, where we can click and slide to the next slide, okay? Pagination. Let's actually bring this uh, class here. Okay. So we have the here is three three div, div closing div tags. Okay. Now we have created our pagination. Next, let's save this file and go back to our main folder. Let's open this with our browser. Simply, you need to double click. Now you can see we have. This block card. So we have an issue, we should show our three images. Simply go back. So next, we need to add some styling. So let's go to our style.css. So for the basic, I'll just write, I'll start with the basic like box sizing to be border box. Also next, I'm going to start with my body. And for the body, we'll add background color. Okay. It should be one tree. Next, we need to add background image. And here I'm going to use linear gradient. And for this one, I'll say 147 deck, comma. Then we'll add a color. We need to add two different colors, okay? For this linear gradient. So I'll say I'll add my X code. And I'll set it 0%. Next, again, we need to add another color. And for this one, I'll set 74%. Next, we need to add mean height of 100 view height. Font family. And for my font family, I'll give it open. Open sans. Then I'll set it sans serif. Lastly, we need to display flex. Next, I'll say block slider. 
practice for the first class so for all our blog blog slider will be i will give a width of 59 95 percent okay not 59 95 percent then we'll add position to be relative also we'll add max width 800 pixel also we need to add margin of we'll say auto background next i will add box shadow and for my box shadow i'll give zero pixel 14 pixel 80 pixel and then i'm going to add rgba here i'm going to give values Zero point two. Next, we need to add padding of twenty five pixel. Okay. Next, we'll add border radius twenty five pixel. Height of so I'm gonna give my height like four hundred pixel, which is perfect. Next, I'll give to, lastly I'll add transition of I'll say all 0 0.3 second simply now save your file refresh your web page now you can see we have now it starts showing our three different cards and you can see this amazing background color now come back to your style of CSS next is going to be we need to make this responsive because we're creating a responsive blog card slider okay so i'm going to use media media screen and i'm going to say and and i'm going to add a max width max width and for my max width i'll give 992 pixel so it's going to it's not going to be less than 999 nine, nine, 992 pixel okay not less than 992 pixel so i'll start with block slider now this goes for all the classes okay all the block slider so for this one i'll say max width to be 680 pixel also we'll add height of 400 pixel next again i'll say media screen and And again, I'm going to say max width. Not less than 768 pixel. And again, I'm going to say blog slider. And for this one, I will set, I will give it mean height, like to be 500 pixel because we don't want to be more than 768 pixel okay also we'll add height to be auto next margin 180 pixel auto next i'm going to do again media screen sorry and I'm going to say again and simply I'm going to copy this and for this one it will be max height not max width okay until it should be less than 500 pixel for all our heights okay also I'm going to say again and and I'll just copy this Just change the value to 992 pixel okay for this one again we'll use the class block slider and we'll give it a height of 350 pixel to make it responsive okay next I'm going to say block slider we'll start with the first one that is the item 
and for the item i'll give it i'll give display to be flex also we'll add align items to be center so i want all my items to be at the center okay next i need to make this responsive so again i'll use media screen and simply we'll add a we'll start with the max width and we'll give 768 again so for this one for this class we'll give a flex direction sorry sorry it should be and okay and we forgot to add that one and there should be open and curly braces so for this one i'll say flex direction to be column next again i'll say block slider item okay and then we'll add a class called swiper slide and this will be active next we'll add a class called block slider again and for this one will be a not item but img and we'll give an img because we added an image so for this one we'll say we'll give opacity to be one also we'll say transition delay to be 0 0.3 seconds so let's just save this file and see how far we progress so let's just refresh the page now you can see the items are coming at the center again next what you need to do is again we'll say block slider item and again i'll say block slider this time will be content not image okay So for this one, we'll add uh, like we'll say something like greater. Then we'll uh, we'll use the multiply uh, multiplication sign, multipl uh, times sign. Okay. So for this one, we'll add like opacity to be one, and then we'll say transform to be none. Next again, I'm going to say block slider active. And then I'll say block slider, not content this time. So I'll say greater. And then we need to use this. Uh, now we need to use nth child. So I'll use the nth child of. I'll say this to be the first nth child. And here we'll add transition delay of. So it should be should be transition delay. Of 0 0.3 seconds so simply before and um, you know it's a lot of work so we are going to do uh simply we're going to duplicate this we need to create like 10 nth child sorry we should create 10 nth child so I'll just do copy pasting now this will be our second nth child and also for our transition delay we'll change it to 0 0.4 next again I'll do the third one and for this one, we'll give like, we'll say 0 0.5. The fourth child will give 0 0.6 seconds. This will be our fifth end child. And also we need to give the transition de delays of, we'll give 7 seconds, 0 0.7 seconds six and child so we need to do like multiple and child okay simply just need to copy paste and this will be my eight eight zero point eight second again copy paste this will be our seventh one and for this one we'll give zero point nine now after this we need to change the transition delay to one okay so you can go like 0 0.10 it should be 1 so this should be 8 and child and for this one we'll give 
one second. Our ninth grandchild, and also the value will be two second, or we can give one point one. And lastly, the nth child, tenth nth child, and for this one, we'll give like one point two second. Let's just add more because 10 is not enough, so I'm going to do more. So this will be like 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay. So let's start here. So this will be one point. Three second, one point four second, one point five second, one point six, and lastly, we'll do one point seven. So, therefore, we created fifteenth and child. Okay, fifteen and child. So, simply after this, I'm going to start with the image block slider IMG. For this one, we'll add a width of 300 pixel. Also, we'll add flex shrink. So whenever I slide to the next image, I want it, the uh, previous Im the image to shrink to the next image. Okay. So for this one, we'll give it zero. The value will be zero. Also, we need to add height of 300 pixel. Next, we'll add border radius of 20 pixel transform and then i'm going to use translate x of negative 80 pixel next we'll add our flow hidden next is my class block slider img and this will be we'll use after not active after let me just scroll up. So for this one, we'll give content empty. We'll leave it empty. So we'll say position to be absolute, top to be zero, and left to be zero. Also, we'll add a width of 100% and a height of 100%. Next, we'll add border radius of 20 pixel. Opacity should be like we'll give like a value of 0 0.8 which is okay next is our block slider img now this goes all the images okay we'll give a width of 100 percent also we'll give height of 100 percent object fit to be cover also, we'll add display to be. I want my display to be block, not inline block. So, also, we'll add opacity to be zero. Border radius 20 pixel. Transition. I'll say all 0 0.3 second, which is okay. Now we need to make this responsive, so I'll use media screen. And for this media screen, I need to add and then open. So here I'll start with the max width. And I'm going to say 768 pixel. So it shouldn't be less than 768 pixel, okay? So we'll start with block slider, image, IMG. Open your calibrations. Next we'll say transform to be translate Y native 50 percent also we'll add width of 90 percent simply copy this so we need to create another media okay so simply copy that open your calibrations and for this one will be 
five we'll change the uh, the pixel to be five six seven or you can say five seven six and again I'm going to say block slider email IMG and here I'm going to give my width to be 95 percent next is media again so for this time we'll do the height not the width okay so i'll change this to height and the height will be le not less than 500 pixel and again i need to say mean height also we need to set mean height of i'll say 990 992 pixel and here i'm going to say i'm going to add my class block slider again img now we are just making all our images responsive okay yeah what we're doing is we're making all the images responsive okay so we'll add height i want my height to be 270 pixel if it's going to be responsive next i'll say block slider content For our content, I'll add padding, padding right to be 25 pixel. Also, again, we need to make this responsive. So I'll use max width of 768 pixel. Open your calibrations again. We'll add the class content. And for this, we'll add margin, margin top, okay? Negative 80 pixel. Our text. I want it to be at the center. Also, we'll add padding. It should give some spacing, okay? So the padding will give 0, 30 pixel. Again, let's change this to 576 pixel. Open your calibrations again. Again, your class content. And here I'm going to say my padding to be zero. I've set it zero. Next we'll say block slider. So it should be content, okay? And this one we will use the greater. Open your calibrations. Opacity zero. Transform. Translate. Y. And I'll give twenty five pixel. Also, we need to add transition of, I'll say, all 0 0.4 second. That's all. So now, let's simply save this file. And now come back to your web browser, refresh it. Now you can see, now you might not see our text. Now you can see our all our three images. So let's go back to your text editor. Now we are going to start with the block slider code. For this one is where we set a date, okay? This date. Like now this is where we are styling, okay? And for this one we'll say color. Let color. Also we'll add What else can we add? Like, let's say you can add margin bottom to be 15 pixel. Also, we'll add display to be block. I'll add font weight of 500. Next, I'll say block slider. Now, let's style our title. And for the title, we'll add like font size. I'll say font size to be 24 pixel also we'll add font weight 700 color next we'll add margin bottom to be 20 pixel next let's style our text so again, I'm going to say, instead of code, it will be text. 
I mean instead of title will be text. Now for this class we'll add again color. So simply we don't need so let's just copy this color okay. I don't want to use a different color. I want all my colors to be same for the text. So for this one I'll say I'll also add margin bottom of 30 pixel. Line height 1.5 em. Next is my button. So we created this button using anchor tag, okay? Let me just go back to my index index.html and I'll show you where I've created this button. You can see this button, this button, this button, okay? We're using anchor tag to create a button, okay? So for this button, I will add like display to be inline flex. Also, we'll add background image. So for background image, I'll use the linear gradient again. So simply let's go, let's scroll up all the way up and I'm going to simply copy this, okay? And paste it here. That should be okay. Next, I'll add padding of 15 pixel by that 5 pixel. Also, we'll add border radius of 50 pixel. Next, we need to add color. So I'll set my color to be white. Text decoration to be none. Also, we need to add font weight 500. Just for content to be center. Also, align items or you can say text align center. And lastly, I need to add letter spacing of one pixel. Again, we need to make this responsive, so I'll use media. So simply, let me just copy this. Now for the media, I'll start with this one. And our class is block slider button. So I'm forgetting something here. So it should be dot, okay? should be dot block slide button okay now for this one we'll add a width of 100 so we should we should open curly braces we'll add a width of let's say something like 100 percent which is okay next i'm going to say block slider again we're going to use swiper swiper and this one i'll set container container horizontal greater then i'll say swiper because here we are going to use some little javascript and all these classes are coming from uh from ix okay this uh, we're going to add some lab library plugins okay so next i'll say pagination swiper pagination and i want it to be bullet for my pagination okay so when i click this as uh, when i want to slide next it should be bullet okay next i'll say slab now block slider now dot swiper pagination i want to be custom okay custom comma dot block slider block slider then i'll say class swiper pagination this time it should it shouldn't be custom i'll set it fraction i know it's a uh, way it's uh, a little bit complicated don't worry we need to we will add the um the plugins as I said, I'll provide you all the link link files 
those library uh, js libraries in my video link description get, make sure to get all the files and link your add those links in, into your HTML, index HTML. so for this one we said block slider swiper container horizontal okay let me just click this and for this one here i'll add bottom to be 10 pixel also we'll add left zero width of 100 percent so you can see we have bull pagination bullet next we have the pagination to be custom and we also we set it fraction next i'm going to say block slider pagination this is our last class okay guys so so for this one i'll i'll say position to be absolute also we'll add z index two is okay right 20 pixel also we'll add width of 11 pixel and i'll set it important left to be auto again important top to be 50 percent not 500 sorry 50 percent again we need to add bottom to be auto and i'll set it important too lastly we'll add transform transform translate y negative 50 percent because we have set our top to be 50 percent okay again we need to make this responsive again so simply i'm going to copy this And here I'm going to change my value to be 768 pixel. For our pagination to be responsive, we need to add we need to add transform transformation. So I'll say translate y negative 50 percent. Also, we'll add left to be 50 percent. Not important. Also, we'll add top of 205 pixel. We need to add width 100%, not important. Display to be flex, justify content, center. Also, we'll add align items, center. Next is my sorry, page, uh, class should be pagination okay and here i'm going to say swipe swiper pagination so we'll start with the bullet one okay bullets so sorry here should be we should add bullets here So next, okay, so for again, for, we need to add something like, let's see again another class, swipe bullet, for this one will be bullet, let's just space, give some spacing, open your curly braces, here I'm going to add one thing that is margin to be 8 pixel by 0, again we need to add media screen, and here I'm going to set it 768 pixel. Open your color braces. Again, what you're going to do is copy this whole class. So we're making this class responsive, okay? Simply copy this. Now this is for our pagination, okay? So open your color braces. Here I'm going to say margin 0, 5 pixel. Next, I'm going to say block slider pagination dot swiper class bullet. I'll give a width of 11 pixel. 
also will add height of 11 pixel to next I will say display to be block also will add background color I think that's okay next I'll add opacity to be 0 also lastly let, let's let's make our opacity 0.2 also we'll add transition i'll say all 0 0.2 second or let's make it a 0 0.3 second again lastly i'm going to do block slide again pagination and this time will be our class bullet active okay For this active class I want to give opacity 1, also we need to add background 0, I'll give a x color, height, I'll give my height 30 pixel, also we need to add some, sorry, should, we should add some, we need to make this responsive, okay, again, simply say uh, copy this, media, and again here what i'm going to do is you're going to copy this whole class dot okay so when i use dot that means a class okay so for this one we'll add height of 11 pixel also we'll add a width of 30 pixel so now simply save your file Go back to your web browser, refresh it. Now you can see we have our. Let me just cancel all that. Let's go back to our folder. Simply double click this. Now you can see we have this. So we need to add some JS libraries. So, first of all, what I'm going to do is we need to add this jQuery and Swiper, okay? So I'm going to copy these two links. Go back to your text editor. Under index.html, scroll all the way down, okay? Here is where we'll add, I'll, we'll add our JS script. Also, I need to create a, a new file. Let's create a new file called script.js. Now, I know there's some errors, don't worry, I'm going to solve that one. So let's deal with this one. So here I'm going to start creating a class called, we're going to create, a, we're going to add some J, uh, JavaScript. So I'll say, I'll create, uh, we can use const or bar if you want. So I'm going to, I'm going to create a variable called swiper. And I'm going to say equal to new swiper, okay? And I'll give, a, I'll add my class here dot blog slider comma open curly braces and here i'm going to say space space between space between 30 comma effect i want my effect to be fade whenever i slide to the next okay next i'll say don't worry don't worry about the errors we're going to solve that one because we are we need to connect this script.js to our index.html okay so i'm going to show you how to connect that so i'll say loop to be true so here i'm using a boolean statement okay again i'll say comma and i'm going to say mouse will For my mouse wheel, I'll set invert to be false. Simply again say comma. So here I'm going to start, I'm going to add a JS 
comment that says auto height to be true okay and we'll start with the class this pagination so for my pagination i'll say l and here i'm going to start I'm going to add my class blog slider pagination okay comma and i'm going to say i want to be clickable true i'll set it true comma so it should be this let's move this one and set a comma there so we need to here close this one no no it should be after okay just delete that one after the calibrates sorry and close with your semicolon okay simply save this js file now we need to connect to our html so i'm under all the way down here i'm going to use a script source and i'm going to add my file called script.js Let me just remove this first okay so now you can see we have added our script.js now let me just go back simply copy this again sorry copy and here i'm going to add my js i don't know why it keeps giving me error So let me just remove this first of all, okay? Before we do anything, I think they should be closed in here. So if, let's add that. Uh, that should solve our problem. We did close this, okay? Now it's okay. Simply save your file. Come back to your web browser. Refresh it. Now you can see we have our so simply you can see there's some errors this this is not how it should be okay now let's go back to our text editor so guys if if we go back to our text editor now we need to check every file to check if uh, to check to correct this error where we see this where card is not coming up well so we need to check every file for errors okay so i'll start we start with the index one so we'll start with this under the body find anything that we have misspelled maybe uh, the classes so make sure to check your classes okay we have block slider block slider and you can see under the image you can see we have written blog instead of blog so we need to correct that one blog for every section okay for every class remember we created three class three cards okay now save this go back to your web browser refresh it now you can see we have our images next is we need to correct is our pagination you can see you can't see our pagination so for that i'll go to script.js again and under pagination here you can see it should be double underscore also save correct that one now also on uh, my style.css we need to search our pagination for our pagination we need to add some border radius okay so just scroll up scroll all the way down so here you can see after here we need to add border radius of 10 pixel save that 
also you need to you need to change this to not max width and min height for our image this one which should be min width correct that one it's under this class called block slider img okay also make sure to correct that one also here you can see we you need also need to make these changes should be min height min width now simply let's save this save your file come back refresh your web page now you can see we have our pagination and you can see now it's okay so guys we have completed creating our responsive block card slider design using all html and css so you can see on this computer screen we have this amazing background color also you can see the image the images we can click next so you can see this working also you can see we have this amazing button but i mean button also we have the title so we have completed creating this response now we need to inspect to see if it's responsive okay you can see this is very responsive so guys we have completed creating uh, this amazing responsive blockard slider design using on html and css so if you enjoyed this video kindly do subscribe to our youtube channel and also share with your fellow developers so till next time bye